so let's make some 3d text in three easy steps really so first things first what you're going to do is you're going to go into photoshop or illustrator we are already in photoshop creating this for cover art so that's where we're going to stay we're going to type in some words we're going to type in words like i'm going to go with the words ban for ban uh it's a central c song and like i said we were doing this for cover art so like i said it might have been better if you do this in illustrator but we're doing it in photoshop so i did ban for ban i put ban on top ban on the bottom then what i did was i picked the number four i opened up my blending options after you open up your blending options double click go to stroke you're gonna go to stroke make it a white stroke then i set my stroke to center after you set the stroke to center um it'll give it like a nice sharp stroke instead of like that round it so after you do that press okay first what i did after we have that we kind of like i said before we just want the band for band without any white right now it still has that stroke on there so we do have to erase or mask out that stroke so what we're gonna do is okay click both of them right click can convert to smart object okay after you do that band for band will be its own thing now you can start adding mass to it now you just want to select the white when you select this white you're going to go back and click on that mask the band for band and then just write it with a black brush and then you're just going to mask that out and then the four will disappear we want that stuff in the middle to be erased too because we don't want anything we just want the four so that's why we're deleting the outline right go ahead and erase that after you erase that you'll have just an image now what we have to do is we're gonna go we have to go ahead and save this as a png so we can hop into adobe firefly for which y'all are all here okay so now we have this you're just gonna go up there file save as a jpeg because we really want this effect works best with text that are black on white it's easier to pick up the structure and you'll understand that in a few now we're gonna head over to adobe firefly adobe firefly is free if you already have creative cloud prescription now if you don't have a prescription or subscription why well, keep saying prescription <laughs> if you don't have a subscription stop with your cheap ass okay i don't have the code i can't give you no crack no patch no nothing okay that was 2010 2015 it is 2024 okay let's go and invest in ourselves people it's $25 a month and you get a lot of uh, tools to use to be able to make some money with that okay all right now okay anyways back on track go to adobe firefly it's going to give you this like a blank prop off the rip before it takes you into the actual program which as you can see now is 3d abstract cute new mexico neighborhood adobe houses sunny desert that's kind of what it gives you you could just press generate and it's going to generate that image and it's going to bring you over there so that's pretty much what you want to do i already had a prompt that i took from mid journey from one of the images i found so i just took this prompt and then i just copied and pasted the prompt to get it started you're just going to click generate okay after you click generate this is kind of the file that's give you this a blue metallic fear within a dramatic light bright and a white reflective surface now this is giving christmas ornament this is not giving a uh, metallic ball the best thing that comes from that would be i think number two and then number three in the left hand corner on the bottom the other ones are giving like i said christmas ornaments so let's get this a little bit more to what we want because the idea is for it to be like a metallic chrome type of text that is kind of like what i'm going for for this first set um and then we're gonna get to the green text at the end because i know that's why a lot of you guys are here but i want to show you guys a few different versions i can explain this one better than i can with the green because you can't really say see too much crazy difference but we are going to get there okay now they have different aspect ratios that you can use depending on what you need to use it for they have landscape they have portrait they have widescreen and then they have the regular square feed so you go off by using we're just going to go with square just to hit it off now with the model let's go ahead and use the merge current model and then for content type we're going to use photo you can use art now this is where it comes in the reference image that we just made in photoshop or illustrator whatever you're trying to do you can also use logos as well this doesn't just have to be text this can be logos as well now the reference is the metallic image that we found on mid journey or wherever you found it so like that prompt that i grabbed the metallic ball from i want to save the image as well as the prompt so i can use it as a reference image i want this reference image to show okay 
I want to create some sort of metallic chrome text. This is the metallic image that I already selected and I wanted to copy this prompt from. So I was trying to get something similar to that. But like I said, when you press generate, it's just going to generate like off the rip just to give you an example. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take that image. You're going to upload that into the reference and that's where it's grabbing its, its colors from the shadows, the lighting. It'll take it based off that reference. Okay. Now they have some other things here that you can use such as synth wave paintings digital art bokeh colors and tones lightings you can select your camera angle low bird's eye straight ahead like they have so many options so like i said go in there and really like give it a try and play around with it okay where was i at <laughs> the first thing you're going to do is upload that image to the structure and that's going to be one of the reference images this is what's going to take the structure of the image that you provided and create based on the reference that you upload, which for us would be the metallic ball. So we're going to go ahead, and upload that band for band image. Go ahead and find it in your drive. Click upload. It's going to upload. Just press OK. It's just saying that, uh, you know, when you use these AI things, it's going to give you some sort of discretion is advised or something like that. Like it might be used or whatever. So do that and like literally try to make what we see in our head now after you do that and then you already have the prompt that we had at the beginning now it's giving exactly what we've already wrote which is a blue metallic sphere in a dramatic light on a white reflective surface so it gives us all of that there's a blue metallic sphere there's a white reflective surface and there's dramatic lighting based on the structure that we already provided but this wasn't looking quite white this not quite white <laughs> i'm crazy this wasn't looking quite right so i had to go ahead and like go ahead and finesse the text a little bit so i said okay let me try a different prompt i really want it on a white background maybe it doesn't need to be reflective so i changed the words to a blank white background this gave me these results with these results i said damn okay it's this blue sphere that's really taking over everything but i really want the blue sphere to to be the text i don't want a blue sphere in the background so maybe i should stop using the word sphere and i should just do metallic text instead once again i tried a few different prompts now when i took the word sphere out and i put a blue metallic text space i don't know why i put space it was one of the prompts that sometimes they suggest you stuff at the bottom if you turn suggestions on here at the in the right hand corner and then i added a 3d rendering in a dramatic light on a blank white backdrop so that gave me exactly what I wanted to look. It's looking closer to the reference image that we already provided at the beginning. Keep in mind, with the styles here on the left-hand corner, you can play with these settings. Play with the visual identity. Play with the strength. So then maybe it's not as harsh as far as the reference. So then maybe it'll take more of the prompt into consideration rather than the reference image. But it's all about, like I always say, trial and error. Also, they do give you a bunch of gallery posts. So if you just want to try it out yourself and just practice without doing the extras you can just go in there and just check out the gallery that they have for you so let's keep it moving that still wasn't what i wanted i'm not gonna lie to y'all now i switched up the text completely because i was like maybe i'm too fixated on the blue metallic text if i really want something blue i can adjust it in photoshop so maybe i should get more specific instead of metallic metallic is like a satin matte semi-gloss type of vibe so with this all i did was do straight up chrome a chrome text so now this time I put in a chrome text space, 3D rendering and a dramatic light and a blank white backdrop. Now this gave me something that was way more similar to what I want. Now I also switched my reference image. So this now is my new image that I'm using. This is the chrome text ball. Once again, I found this on mid journey. Um, and I feel like, like I said, this is all AI. So you can use these different things as resources and tools. Don't think, oh, I'm, I'm being replaced. Like use it to your advantage. I really like this one on the right hand co corner. I feel like you can easily mask that out and start using that effectively. But I was like, you know, let's try a few different ones. You don't want to just off the rip go with the first one. But it looks really, really clean. Like it really gives you that nice, strong chrome. It literally looks exactly like the image that i provided and i really really like that about adobe firefly i think they're doing the text the best out of all of the ai tools uh mid journey is getting better but you know it's still mid journey i feel like with with the ai it's all about the prompts so you got to keep practicing different prompts to see what is going to be used for what you know what i'm saying like what is going to be best used for what you're trying to do 
So for me, we changed the text up. So now this time I use Chrome text, 3D rendering in a dramatic bright light on a blank black drop with one beam and a shadow. Got real specific with the lighting and everything like that, okay? Now, when you do that, this gave me this. And I think these are even better than before. Like I said, the, the, the lighting is A1, the shadows are A1, and it's on a nice clean background. So it'll make it easier for me when I need to cut it out in Photoshop and make my other adjustments. So this is the one where it's the Chrome Text 3D rendering in a dramatic bright light on a black backdrop with one beam and a shadow. And this is what it gave me. It gave real specific with the lighting and the technique that you're going to be using for the lighting. And I really, really like these as well. Like if I wanted to create just a text based cover art, I feel like this would be an amazing place to start. If you don't even use these, it'll give you a great reference to use the shadows and the lighting for what you what you need to use it for. Now, the next prompt we're going to try is Chrome Text 3D rendering in a dramatic bright light on a dark backdrop with beam from the back. It's slightly adjusted, but nonetheless. Now we're getting back to the brightness. I felt like we we're moving away from the chrome shiny because of the lighting from the back. Obviously, it's going to give you the shadow. So I was like, oh, let me switch up the lighting explanation or whatever. And I tried to actually add like HD photorealistic at the thing. It didn't pick that up, but it's there. That's why if you guys are asking, like it was just there. But the best one out of this one is this third one on the bottom left hand corner. I was like, that one kind of represents exactly what I'm trying to do. Like almost exactly like the lighting and everything is perfect. We're going to keep the same structured image, which is the band for band, obviously. But we got to change the reference image. So now we're going totally away from the blue metallic, totally away from the chrome text. Now we're going to a whole different lane. I wanted to show you guys that there's different versions and different ways that you can go about it. So now what I did is I, I'm working on a money pack uh, for ODM. That's coming soon, you guys. So stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a drop. Also, tap in on our Discord community while it's free. So you'll be able to know updates and everything before everything happens now anyways i use a reference from my money pack this green translucent type of text with money and a green glow black backdrop i felt like it was calm now you're going to go down here as you can see i've already uploaded the reference image with the green one so now it's totally swapped now we got to adjust the prompt so what i did try to do is i tried to try and change it from green to blue to see if it would take the style reference and change it on its own so i typed in blue glowing translucent text on a black backdrop this to see if the blue was going to come from the reference image and see if it would change colors or if it, it would only take the reference image as verbatim right and of course it took the reference image as verbatim so i was like oh, okay if you want to change it you either have to change it in photoshop with the blue or you have to make it first take it back into photoshop so it gave me exactly what i typed in based on the reference image it's a green glowing translucent text on a black backdrop like for verbatim, like everything and also note if you check my strength the strength is at like 50 percent. i did not put the strength all the way up at this particular moment but this gave me some pretty good starting spaces i was like okay we're getting there we're getting somewhere so now i can start adding different things to the prompt to make it a little bit better I wanted it to be stuffed with money. Like that was the whole point of band for band. I wanted it to be money stuff translucent text. Now this is giving me crazy like exactly more or less what I'm looking for. Like look at that money inside of the band for band. Like it looks clean. The outside glows are strong. The middle glow is strong. Now if you don't even use these how they are. I feel like they give you a great great way to begin your editing process whether that's going to be in blender or if that's going to be straight in photoshop as far as the lighting and how to use it is concerned or creating a textile it also gave another one here band for a band you know what i'm saying with the green translucent text in the inside and you can always take that over to photoshop and then just adjust it as you want i want to just get you guys started i will do like a more in-depth tutorial where i'll do like a text-based cover art using adobe firefly i just want to show you guys what the possibilities are this is something i've been practicing with and playing around with so i'm no expert in any sense i just feel like i'm just sharing the knowledge that i've been working on and practicing myself you guys so check it out give it a try drop in the discord how you used it see i want to see what you guys are making for real for real